Hello everyone. Happy holidays. Happy end of 2020. Aren't we all glad that we made it? Yeah. Anyways, we're going to be learning dance music by the Mountain Goats. This was also commissioned by Haley, same person who commissioned the other Mountain Goat song. So let's get right into it. This song is in the key of G major. Okay. The intro starts like this. Super easy stuff. Okay, so we've got G octave in the left hand, a G uh, second inversion in your right hand. So that's a D with your first finger, G with your third finger, B with your fifth finger. And you hit that with the octave, keeping in mind that this is middle C. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All we're doing there is moving down to the E minor. So that's an E minor octave in your left hand, and in your right hand, E minor second inversion. That's B with your first finger, E with your third finger, G with your fifth finger. Okay, and that's on one and two and three and four and. So you're holding the G chord, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and do it again. So we did it three times. On the fourth iteration, we move to a C chord and play this little riff. Okay, so starting with that melody in the right hand, it's this. It's just a run up the G major scale, starting from a C. So you've got C with your first finger, then D with your second finger, E with your third finger, F sharp with your fourth finger, um, and then G with your fifth finger. Okay. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you come in on the one with both hands. One and two. So on that four and, on that last and, that's when you're gonna hit the G with your pinky and the D octave in your left hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, so putting that section together, we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. This is really a lot of fun. Uh, so let's actually start with the left hand here. All you're doing is moving between the G, the C, the D, and then back to the G, moving between those octaves, okay? And the count is like this, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so we're coming in on the one, so one and two and, moving to the C, then on the forehand, moving to the D, one and two and three and four and one and two. And then on the and, moving back to the G. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And that just repeats throughout the verse. In your right hand, you're playing this riff, one and two and 
All right, so you've got D with your second finger to G with your fifth finger. One and two. Then you're going to hit the E, and you're going to go down a C chord, okay? E, C, G, right? So that's E with your third finger, C with your second finger, G with your first finger. One and two and three and four. And then immediately, you're going to use your fourth finger to hit that F sharp, and then move down to D. Four and one and two. So that's F sharp with your fourth finger, D with your second finger, a with your first, with your fifth finger, fifth the finger. One and two and three and four and one and two. Now you're gonna reach all the way up to the G with your third finger. So one and two and three and four and so that's just a G chord. G with your third finger, down to the D with your first finger. And then up to a G and a B with your third and your fifth finger. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Putting that together with your left hand slowly. One and two and three and four and one. we go. We're going to repeat that three times. So one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four and. And then we're going to move once again to a C, then to a D, and the riff this time sounds like this. So what we're doing is we're starting on a G uh, with our first finger, one and two, okay, moving up to the C, then you're crossing under with your first finger, one and two and three, okay. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and again slowly. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and C octave moving on the four and to the D octave, putting it together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So then you repeat the verse, okay? Same thing. Except this time, the riff's a little bit different. All that is, same deal, starting on the G, moving to the C, but you don't cross under, you're just gonna hit the D with your, third, with your third finger. One and two and, and then immediately, you're gonna use your first and your second finger to hit C very quickly, sliding into the D like this. One and two and three and, then moving to the E. One and G, then to the F sharp on the four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three, then walking up E F sharp G. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Great. So the verse, just to recap, three times through our main riff, then to the Restart the verse, but the second time the riff is. Perfect. 
Now we move into the pre-chorus. It's pretty simple. Okay, so you're kind of playing back and forth between your left and your right hand. Starting with a C and a G. Okay, so you've got a C chord in your right hand as well. C, E, G, first, third, fifth finger. One and two and three. Did you catch that? Left hand, right hand, both together. One and two and three. And then on and four and, you're going to walk down with F sharp, E, and D with your fourth, third, and second finger. One and two and three and four and. So then when we get to the next bar. It's one and and two and three and four and in your left hand all that is is one and two and three and four and okay octave octave high G in your right hand what you're doing is you're starting on this low B one and two and then you're moving up to a G second inversion D G B, one and two and three and, and then on four, hitting the D and hitting the E. And then together, slowly, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and. From the beginning of the pre-chorus. One, one and two and. play this riff. Okay? So from the start of the pre-chorus, one, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. That's the pre-chorus, and we're moving into the chorus, which conveniently is just the verse progression. And you just play that twice before going back to the intro. And then we've got another riff. Easy. All you're doing, C, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Before going back into the verse, which is... Three times. And then, uh, once again, we have a different riff. It's going to go like this. It's easy. It's G, C, cross under like we normally would, D, E, then you're going back to the D, and then up to the E, up to the F sharp, and then up to the G. One and two. So went through the verse once, played that riff, then we do it again and play the exact same riff. Once again, we go into the pre-chorus. It's a little bit different this time. It's gonna be like this. Easy. We got in your left hand, C to G. And in your right hand, you're responding with D with your first finger to E with your second finger, back to the D. One and two and three and four and. Easy. Next measure. One and two and three and four and. So it's the same thing as the last pre-chorus in terms of the left hand. 
one and two and three and four and. And in your right hand, um, all you're going to be doing is one and you're going to be doing one and two and three and four and just your G chord on the two and and then on four and it's D to E. Both hands is one and two and three and four and easy. From the beginning of the pre-chorus it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then we're going to play our same C to D riff that we did in the verse. Right? To the chorus. Which is just the riff twice. Alright, but now we're going to move into um, the bridge. it is, it's E minor to G, okay? Starting with the left hand. You're holding it for a whole bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four. And then in your uh, right hand, you're going to be arpeggiating an E chord. So the first bar, it's B with your first finger to E with your second finger to G with your third finger to B with your fifth finger, to G, and then you're gonna hit just the D with your first finger. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. The second time you hit that G second inversion. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four changed it a little bit. G, A, B, A, G. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. this little C to D riff. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and G, C, cross under the D, E, F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp. Back into the verse. Last time around, you just got D, D, G, G. So that's just D, D octaves to G, G octaves in your left hand. In your right hand, you've got um, a D second inversion. B, D, F sharp. Hit it twice to the G second inversion. And then you're done. Easy enough. All right, folks, happy holidays. I hope uh, you're having a great time. I Hopefully you get to see your families. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and taking some time to tune in. If you have any requests, let me know. If you need to commission me to do a song, you can do that um, by emailing me at mansonellymiles at gmail.com. I'm actually recording 
um, an EP with my songwriting partner right now. So I hope you all uh, will stick around when I release it and give it a, give it a listen. I think it's going to be pretty darn good. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye.